Okay guys, we're out here. Um, hopefully it's not, it's really windy, so hopefully you can hear me good, but um, right here we got kind of a uh, slough area with some timber over there. And then we have corn on this side, and then behind you we have corn over there. So we have some coon trails here. Um, I'm just gonna go over kind of how I set, and we'll go from there, so. Okay, so right here we have a culvert, and then we get in line with this coon trail. You can see it's pretty clear. It's not you know the most worn down coon trail, but definitely a decent one for here. So first thing we do, we're just running no BS traps. They're dog proof, and uh, they come factory with the wolf fang style chain stake attached. We're setting these. We're going to want to go right on the coon trail. And then I like to have it kind of closer to the culvert so that uh, if you do get a catch right here, it's kind of hidden, you know, the ditch is pretty open. So I like, so they can kind of hole up and aren't seen uh, by the traffic driving by. And these wolf fangs have a lot of holding power. Um, you don't have to worry too much about it. Like there's no way a coon will ever get out of there. Right here we have some of the smokehouse smackdown we sell. That's what we're gonna be using all day. I don't fill it all the way up, I fill it maybe two thirds. Oops. And then right here we have some Iron Trails Ringtail Reaper. So you just put a dab right on the lip, two thirds full of whatever bait you're using. And uh, you kind of cover the chain up a little bit, otherwise, you know, coon can sit there and fiddle around with it since they're so curious. So that's all there is to it. That's how fast it is. And uh, we're going to go see what the other side of the road looks like and um, set more. Okay, so in Minnesota, um, for the first week of dry, we're dry land, coon trapping water is not open, and you can only set, uh, you have to be 50 feet away from any kind of water, so we're not gonna set it, I guess, just because I didn't realize it's wet down here like it is. So we're gonna go over here and take a look. But yeah, you know, this would be a good spot right here. You can see a coon trap, um, good location. Okay, here we got another culvert. This is what we're always looking for, we want, you know, Culverts are just an awesome place to catch coon, but it looks like the trail is a little bit better on the other side. You can see coon trail coming through here, coming dropping down to the culvert here. And then it goes right up to the cornfield as you can see. Right there, going from the corn trail, coming off the approach, right to the culvert, and I'm gonna set it, set it right here. Nice thing is on these uh, no BS traps, they have pretty long chain, multiple swivels, so once it gets caught, you know, normally they'll just sit there, mess around a little bit, and then hole up in the culvert, so you don't have to worry about it being visible. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You see how quick it is? Um, if you're looking to put fur in the truck, this is a fast way of doing it, so I'm sure um, I think we're gonna be checking these like three more days and I'm sure we'll have a coon, you know, at least one coon here, but 
finish watching the video and we'll, we'll show you a catch if we go in. Okay, so we have a good location here. Uh, we have corn over there. So we gotta stay 50 feet away so we cannot set that. Um, so we're gonna go set over here. Okay, right here you can see where they're rolling through. We got a trail going on. the nose when they're walking can't miss it and I already have it baited they already have it lured so that's all there is to it something like this you know it's not super awesome so we're just putting one trap but um, definitely a good location to set okay so we're at another location we're going to set um, over there we have a plowed field It's pretty muddy down here. Um, there's coon tracks there. Not a ton though, so we're only going to put one trap just to conserve on traps. They didn't bring them all with on this trip. Anyhow, they're going down this drain. And if you get the camera up here, you can see where the, they're going into the culvert and they're also going up there. You can see if you get close, there's mud on the grass there. So they're shooting up. I never understood why a coon will like, go through the work of climbing a bank walk through the culvert but okay so we have a, a situation like this where they're going up around the culvert and through the culvert I always want to no matter where the trail is I want to set set where the two converge so right here is where we're going to set it like that so um, great location you know places like this anytime you see like kind of the markers by the culverts you know stop take a look at it even if it doesn't you know the sprouting area doesn't look super promising sometimes they're just using them as travel ways so yeah places like this guaranteed coon okay here is that other location uh, we had just got that skunk over there so here's the other one I was talking about right here uh, we got some timber and we said Trail crossing right there, right in here. Kind of see, you know, it has a pretty tore up. But you kind of see what's left of the coon trail um, going right into the corn. So these are easy, easy places to set. And as you can tell, they can be productive. Okay, guys, so uh, here we have some sets. We have corn on that side, and then some timber way off. And then here, it's just nothing but a plowed field, so that's pretty useless. So right here, we have a culvert coming through, and then we have a culvert going from corn to corn over there. So we have two sets down here. So right here you can see where the coon, there's kind of a trail going right there, and then right there we have a coon. So 
Now I had said earlier, I like setting them next to the culvert. They can kind of hole up down there. Can't really see them, um, which here nobody would see it anyhow. But. Close. You look close right in there, it is completely full of coon tracks. So this is what you want to set on. Like if you can find coon tracks like this, at least put two traps or three. Um, yeah, we got one coon out of it. So we'll dispatch it, reset, and then continue down the road. Okay guys, we are out here at another location and we have a coon as you can see down there. Um, the reason we set this is we have a nice coon trail going up and we always want to watch the telephone poles. Um, they like to hug any kind of trees or landmarks, telephone poles, stuff like that. So it's like a pretty good sized coon. Um, so yeah, we have corn on this side and then over there it is um, all pretty thick timber and then behind us you can't see it but we have a swamp. So, yeah, we're going to dispatch it, and then we have some more sets down the road, and we'll see what we have over there. Okay, we're at the same location, the same road. Um, the last coon we got was just down the road here, and once again, we have corn on one side and timber on the other side. So, we come down here. Um, not a huge coon, but it's decent. So, yeah, pretty much we're just setting trails, going from timber to corn right now. Um, I think we had four trails set and we got two coons, so can't argue with 50%. We're going to continue down the road and we'll see what else we have. Okay, we are um, at the next catch location. We have a nice coon right there and we are trapping a cornfield with a trail. Hopefully you can see it with the camera. It goes right up to the timber. Um, over this way we have we have another trap right there in the ditch that one's empty and then right over there We have a swamp so lots of good lots of good area for you know cover for them stuff like that So we're going to disp dispatch it and then we'll head down the road and hopefully have some more Okay, so we have another coon here um, Behind you there's a river you can't really see it um, It's on the other side of the corn and over there it gets a little swampy but right here trail coming up through the through the ditch and then going right back down here and right there we have a decent sized spoon so I think this is um, 13 or 14 today I don't know we're almost at the end of the line so I don't know if we'll have any more but we had 72 traps so we're up in northern Minnesota or northwestern Minnesota so the coon population isn't as good at as it is at home but yeah Nice size coon, can't complain about that. Hopefully we might get one or two more today, but if we don't, that's okay. We're gonna dispatch it, reset, and then I think we're gonna go out and I think maybe we have a dozen and a half traps to set left. So we'll set the rest of those today. You guys can watch that. Okay guys, uh, pretty good location here. We got a coon trail going off to some corn over there. And then over here is uh, pretty much all timber. There's no great coon trails over there. It's not bad, but we're probably going to skip that. So we're going to come down here, set this one. Got coon trap right here. Been eating some berries, it looks like. Right here. We have the trail going up to the cornfield. And then we have a culver here. And then as you can tell, there's lots of, lots of coon tracks. So we're going to pop one in. Right here, already pre-baited, pre-set. Yeah, you always want to kind of pull up, make sure that anchor levels out and doesn't just come out the hole. Okay, then we'll go over here. It's 
hard to see, but there's a coon trail going out of the culvert up into the trees. But pretty warm down here. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna actually set them both on the other side. It seems like there's there's more activity. This wouldn't be a bad spot, but I just think there's more activity over there. So I'll go pop this over there, and then uh, we'll see you down the road. Okay guys, here's the location I just set. Um, cornfield right here. We got one of the dog proofs there. That coon crap all over the place, right there, right there. And there you can see trails going down to another dog proof. And it's absolutely just, this culvert just beat down. So, yeah, great location. Then we got coon trail going up that way. Coon trail going up the road. And I'll show you the other side here. Okay, then we've got some swamp ground over here. Also coon trail going down there. And look at this. Okay guys, we're at the next set location. Um, have a decent coon there. We've got a brush pile. And then over there you can see there's a cornfield. And then behind kind of more brush. down here you can see there's a coon trail going right here and then a coon trail going right there so pretty good location to set we'll dispatch it and then head down the road we have some more sets in about I don't know, 50 100 yards from here pretty good I think okay so here we're at another location um, obviously have a catch we had a dog proof behind you it's empty but when you're out trapping, right here we got a cornfield on this side and a cornfield on that side. And this is the only tree, you know, in quite a while. So when you're out trapping, make sure to look for trees like this where there's just one lone tree, maybe a lone telephone pole, um, any kind of landmark situation. These coon, as you can tell, this thing, there's a nice coon trail here, coon trail here, and they're just going up right along this, this tree and just hugging the tree tight. So always make sure to check those out. When you're out running, we're gonna dispatch this one, reset it, and then um, up at that grove of trees, we have some more traps, so we'll go check it out there. Okay, so we're at um, a couple more locations down the road. As you can see right here, we have a trail going up into the corn there. It's not, you know, it's not super well-defined, but visible, but here you can see it a lot better. And then like I was saying, at the last location, I always look for, you know, a tree or a bush close to the road, but it just, that trail just pops right in, hugging that tree. Then we have our set down here off the road. And right here is our catch, just kind of a kind of a smaller coon. Um, I think this is maybe 13 or 14 out of the day. We got a decent amount of traps left to check, so we're gonna dispatch that and then catch you on down the road. Okay, we're on the set we made yesterday um, that I showed you guys. We have a dock proof right there. And, or maybe I guess it's two days ago we put the set in. We got one here yesterday. And then uh, we have one right here. I don't remember if we had a double yesterday or a single, but um, this is the one where I said, take a look at all the coon tracks in the, in the culvert. It's just absolutely full of them. And all we do is you can see there's a trail going up around the culvert. Obviously a big trail here with all the packed down cattails and a trail going up towards the truck. And yeah, it just goes from cornfield to cornfield. That's what we're trapping. So we're going to take care of him and then head down the road. I think this is coon number like 15 today. Um, all caught on ringtail reaper and smokehouse smackdown. So. Okay guys, it's the uh, third check we're doing today. It's pretty cold this morning. It was, I think, 11 degrees when I woke up and the ponds are froze and there's some um, definitely some uh, frozen ground, but right here we have um, number coon of number two uh, coon of the day. I don't know if we had already caught one here or not. I think we did. And then, yeah, we got corn out there, and there's a trail coming up, and then it's just going to this big tree out in the swamp here. So, yeah, but overall, 
pretty good haul this weekend, so I'm going to uh, take care of it, and then we're going to keep pulling the traps. I'm kind of losing faith today. Is I think we've already checked like 60 traps and only had two coon, but the cold weather definitely shut them down. So if we get some more, I'll hop back on. Okay, guys, we're at um, our next uh, catch. There's a lot of sets in between catches, like I said. It got so cold last night, they're just not moving. So right here, um, we have trees, cut soybean field, yeah, pretty good grove. And then there was a trail, I'll show you here, kind of coming up through here. You can see it pretty decently defined. And then here we have a smaller coon right there. So I think we got down the road here, we maybe have I don't know, five more sets, so if I catch anything there, we'll turn it on, but, um, yeah, pretty slow day, but that's what happens, you know, sometimes, like, I think yesterday, um, we got 19 coon, and I want to say five skunks, so, we were running, like, 96 sets or whatever, so it came out to be, like, 25% catch rate, which I'm super happy about, but today we're at, like, a 5%, but that's the way it goes. Okay guys, we're about a mile um, down the road from the last catch and um, we have a double right here. So over here we kind of have a slough and I don't know if it's like a just non-planted field or CRP or what the speak is there. And then just a cemetery, um, cut corn, and then right here we have... Um, a culvert, and we have a coon there, and I'm not sure what's going on here, but we have two coon in one trap, so um, yeah, pretty odd, I guess. I don't know what to say there. So so I'm gonna dispatch this triple with two traps and then continue on down the road and go from there. Okay guys, we're at uh, the next location. Um, so we, yeah, we had a double at the last one. And then right here, I think we coming last, or yesterday here, I showed you the nice coon trail coming through here. Um, goes above the culvert and then it goes down to the culvert. And I'm not sure, looks like we have something in the culvert, but check out this coon. This is one really nice fat coon. That thing's a beast. And then in here, uh, let's see what we got here. Looks like we got another coon in the culvert. Not sure if you can see that, but heck yeah. Oh, watch out, buddy. So we got a, um, man, that thing's huge. We got a double at the last one. And then we have a double right here. So this is this might be the last check. Um, or we have one more stop, but we have two traps up there. Not sure if we'll get anything, but yeah. So I think this brings me up to um, two, four, six, maybe seven today, which isn't great, but not as bad as it started out. Okay, guys, we're just at the uh, last location, pulling the traps. Um, we had two empty traps here, but I just want to thank you for watching. And uh, I guess, yeah, here's the catch this weekend. Um, not too bad. I don't know. Maybe I ended up with, I want to say maybe 38 or 40. Probably 38 this weekend, um, which the cold weather definitely shut it down today, and that's okay. So I'm going to head to the fur buyer right now. Um, I'm just going to sell these whole. I don't have time to put them up. But I'll probably do some put up videos here um, starting next week when I set the normal line. So stay tuned. Um, this Saturday, I'm going to start putting in some traps around home and probably be doing like, I don't know, I'd say 200 or so. So we're doing the same thing. You know, the country is going to be a little bit different, but, um, you know, as far as techniques, it'll probably be the same. So yeah, check her out. Hit subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys are out trapping. Have a great day.